Singapore, with plans for age quotas that favour younger players from the 2018 S League season, time could be ticking for senior club players in Singapore. As part of efforts to stem the decline and rejuvenate the league, Football Association of Singapore, FAS, President Lim Kia Tong announced on Monday, December 18, an emphasis on increasing the number of promising youth players competing. All local sides in the nine-team S League, save for the Young Lions, must have in their ranks at least six local under-23 players. Each team will only have space for three to six local players above 30 years old. Clubs are understood to have already axed a number of overaged players in their ranks. Coupled with short-term 11-month contracts and unfavorable pay, many S-League players acknowledge the career uncertainty that comes with choosing football in Singapore as a profession. With the latest FAS announcement, the situation has become even more pressing for players in their 30s and older. Channel News Asia spoke to several players, who highlighted the importance of a backup plan, given the employment realities of playing professionally in Singapore. Venturing into business Even though he is one of the first names in Home United's team sheet, veteran right-back Jumaat Yantan has never been one to take things for granted. Although the 33-year-old has been retained by the club for next year, the former Singapore international already has a backup plan. Planning ahead is very important for a football player in Singapore. You don't really know when your time may be up. You could have injuries or loss of form which will set you back, he said. In Singapore, how long can you go on as a footballer? Armed with a desire to do something different, and being given the motivational push to do so by a family member, Jumaat took the leap and opened a Nasai Padong stall in Yishun in September. I had a late sister who once owned a stall, and I used to help out when I could, back when I was in my twenties. It was her daughter who gave me a call months back to inform me of an opportunity to open a hawker stall in the area, said Jumaat. My niece and I then attended this briefing by the owners of the Yishun Park Hawker Center who are actually the owners of Timber as well and I recalled being really convinced, he said. We had very little knowledge about what it took to be hawkers, but we slowly built up the know-how that we needed through experience. In the early days, we didn't know how to control the spending that goes into the stall. But now, we've managed to turn things around, we're afloat and doing okay for now, said Jumaat, adding that his three-month-old hawker business is turning in a reasonable profit. He also owns a delivery company. Jamait said owning a business has always been a dream. The defender found out early that other career options did not appeal to him. Before this I had already taken a few courses, such as my C coaching license, safety coordinator courses as well as a forklift operator course, he said. This was about three years ago, and then coach Philippe Ah had encouraged me to take up the courses as he was upfront in saying that senior players don't have good prospects after a certain age.